Real estate prices in Queens increased 7% year over year. For the exact figures and more, stay tuned for the latest as of April 2024. Hey everyone, it's Justin again from Braithwaite Realty. So let's start where we usually do with prices. In Queens, the median sales price increased to $797,000 from $743,000 this month last year, which is an increase of 7.2%. Next, what are sales prices in relation to asking prices? The sales price to list price ratio is about the same this month at 95.7% versus 95.6% last month. This is also roughly in line with a five-year average of 95.9%. Now quick time out. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you'll get the latest news on the Queens real estate market each month. And if you're thinking about selling your home in Queens, just call, email, or text me. Okay, let's get back. Next, if you list a property, how long does it take to go into contract? Right now it's taking 59 days, which is longer than 46 days last month and the five-year average of 50 days. And finally, how many properties are for sale in Queens? 1,305 homes are currently on the market, about the same as 1,287 last month. And this is less than half of the five-year average of 2,863. Okay, let's recap how the Queens real estate market performed this month. So prices are up 7% year over year. The sales price to list price ratio didn't move much and is in line with recent averages. The number of homes for sale is historically low, and it's taking about two months to sell a home, which is about a week and a half longer than the recent average. So there you have it. If you have any other questions about the Queens real estate market, reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. And also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next Queens real estate market report in May. Thanks for watching.